so far we are creating the galleries using this form and we have a landing page for each gallery where we are going to show the details later on now there's one thing that we have not done while we are saving the gallery is validation let's go back to the code and if you see in this I'm just instantiating the gallery class and then I'm directly saving it so the problem is for example if I hit the save directly I have an empty insert into the database so practically there is no name it just has an ID right and also I can create a gallery like a B so on and so forth so what I need to do is add some validation to this form the two things which I'm going to do is first of all this will be required and the gallery name should be minimum three characters long right so inside this the first thing which I will do is I'll say validate the request through the validation rules right so how is it done I'll say validator equals validator make now the validator make takes three arguments the first one is the request all which is kind of the post data which we are getting second one is the array of rules and the third one which is optional is the message array if we want to override any of the default messages that Laravel comes with then we can do that so how do we go about it I'll say request all is my first argument and then this is my second argument of rules the key which I am using is gallery name right so I'll say first thing is and it, it will be the only thing because we have only one field so gallery name the two rules are it is required and then I want to specify a second rule so I will do a pipe and I'll say minimum three characters right now this is the validator I will get an object of the validator where I can say if dollar validator fails do take action so when the validation has failed okay. so what I will do is I'll say return redirect to gallery slash list hmm? with errors and th that will be the validator object and with input all right so what practically will happen is we are going to send the validator object and the old inputs back to the form right now obviously to get the errors we will have to make some changes in our view so I'll quickly load up the view which is gallery.blade.php and in this right you know, before this form we will say at thread if count dollar errors greater than zero you know again this is something which I have not written myself but this is something which you can get from the documentation very easily so end if yeah. so basically what we are saying is if there are errors on this page then I will hit alert dot alert dash danger this will give me a red kind of a, oops. yeah then inside that I will have a ul and I'll have an li what's happening 
yeah and this will be in for each loop for each dollar errors all as error and for each and then this what I have to say dollar error right so let me go through the code again I have this in place and so I have the errors in place what I will also do is because I am sending the inputs as well which is with input I will say value will be equal to old gallery underscore name so what will happen is when there is any data in this gallery underscore name it will pre-populate it which means when the validation fails we regain the data which we had sent as input to save all right now the blade is ready let me save it and get back to the controller I have validator I have running it here um, what I'll also need to do is I think I have not made the request so to be use sorry, eliminate support facades and then validator now let me go back hit refresh check yes so it is working as you can see I am not able to make any blank entry now and also if I do one and two obviously it's going to fail because my minimum requirement is three characters so if I say ABC and hit save it is going to save the new entry but if I do AB it shows me an error and if I do save again it again shows me an error all right now there is one thing which is not working properly which is if I hit a B and I save it it gives me the error but it doesn't give me the old entry so obviously there is something wrong with the code let me quickly check inside my controller I am saying this is with input so this is correct it should pass the inputs again back to this page and in my gallery I'm doing old oh I see see this automatic quotes have screwed it up so this should be the ideal markup let me refresh now again I will say a B yes so as you can see I am retaining the old input if I also say op and save gives me the validation and the old values are still retained so you know this is very useful when you have long forms and you're doing the validations and you want the user to get back the fields which are correct and kind of just skip the ones which are not correct right so yeah that's about it for this small tutorial where I was trying to show you how to use validations now, this is a good way of keeping the code simple just use the default validation class with Laravel and there are a lot of options which you can see if you go to the documentation and in that this should be validation and and inside validations you have a lot of rules available for example you know accepted active URL after date uh, all these things are available as you you know very common ones are numeric if the maximum number IP address integers things like that so yeah try it out